All right, let's get it rolling. Interaction video is the first time, so bear with me. I've never done this before. All right, see you with me. Uh, is that cool? I'm going to make a lot of mistakes. But that's a good thing. You can splice up the thing and make it look nice. That's, that's exactly what's going to happen here. Hi everybody, thank you for joining me on another YouTube video. As you can see, this video is a little bit different from the usual tutorial video. Um, kind of different background, different uh, scenario or whatever you want to call it. But, uh, you know, if it's your first time over here, consider subscribing or, you know what, if it's your first time over here, hit the subscribe button. That's the first thing I want you to do. And then the second thing you're going to do is hit the like button. And then the third thing is to click the bell. And you already know what number four is, but I'm going to leave number four for a little bit later. All right. So in today's video, I really want to answer some questions that y'all have been dropping in the comments section. Some really good questions like challenging questions. And of course, I won't be able to answer all of them in this video today, but most of them, if not all, I would have answered in the in the comment section once i see the questions i'm gonna answer them and yeah let's see where that goes so before we get into the questions i want to big up all my subscribers we are currently at 260 and so far the videos are well received you know and so that kind of made me feel good and made me pump me up a little bit you know anyways so the hope is to reach 1000 subscribers by the end of the year so i need your help to make it to that target so of course what you're gonna do you're gonna like and you know share with everybody who you think might find my videos useful um so you know yay i also want to big up the regular viewers who haven't subscribed as yet and speaking of such i dig a little bit into my youtube analytics and i, and I see that there are persons from all over the world viewing my videos and that's like phew, mind-blowing because i didn't know i would have so many countries or people from so many countries viewing my stuff so that was kind of surprising um, people from all over so i want to say big up thanks for, for passing through and i hope that you keep coming back so hit the subscribe button so that you can see every video that we post over here all right so you guys have been asking some really good questions in the comments and i thought why not just put them in a video so that everyone can benefit from these questions all right so the first question is from tech channel tv i know this channel big up yourself um, at the end of the series subscribers and viewers should be able to design their home you won't get as detailed as this in the classroom keep it up bro so of course um for those of you who didn't know i was a teacher for five years in jamaica i used to teach things like these drawing and woodwork or rather carpentry a um, little bit of metal and electrical and so i have a little bit of knowledge about those so as you can see in my videos uh by teaching skills and uh, that side of me kind of trickles over into my videos and sometimes it makes the videos a little bit longer than i would have hoped <laughs> or maybe some of you would like but um you know I, I can't help it i have to teach as detailed as possible so that everybody can understand what i'm trying to say i hope you like it i hope you don't hate it yeah you just let me know hit the like button or comment down below if you think the videos are good so far or if there's something you think i need to change or you know shorten the video a little bit whatever drop it down below all right second question is from shay Gahe. i don't know if i'm pronouncing the name right thanks for the video i enjoying watching it huh. is there a way to see hidden lines in elevation view it's a really good question <laughs> so i did check it out and i tried to get the hidden lines i tried all sort of stuff and it just didn't work so um i've never done it before but it's really good it'll be good if that could actually happen but um autocad just doesn't give us that functionality all right so this one is from anim web please forgive me if i'm pronouncing these names incorrectly thank you for the lesson but how do you move through the building like that how do you get to view inside of the building so i think this was on my windows video um so i use what is called a space mouse so for those of you who don't know what it looks like so this thing here allows us to you know kind of move through the building nicely and also if you want to go into the building like a walkthrough you, you have to put the drawing in perspective view and so if you watch my videos you'll see me put the the view the 3d view in a perspective um, view i keep saying the word view 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 but so put the drawing in perspective view and by doing that you'll be able to walk into the building or through the wall through the door whatever the case may be 
all right so check that out and let me know if it work in the comments below from chris hamilton how to join two spaces to make it one so this is on my space ceiling video um and at first i didn't know how to do this i checked it out how to do it and i realized it's actually pretty simple initially what we had done was to draw a space separator to divide this space into two different uh, spaces right um using the space separator tool and so if you want to let's say we don't want this separation again and we just want to join both spaces together what you do is simply click on the separator itself and delete it and <laughs> just like that just like that now we have one space and of course you can proceed to rename the space if it if it took on the wrong name all right so that's that's it it's as easy as that i can't believe it. that's it because of the student version i was unable to get cmu6 but i saw that you used centered justification but when i do i end up getting four inch of the exterior measurement of any project drawing all right so I, i'm not very familiar with the student version and what um, are the available options in that version of the software but if you're using the regular standard wall you should be able to change the thickness of the wall so i'm going to show you if you go to your style browser and we go to walls um, inside of it you would see what is called a standard wall and most of the time this is the wall that you typically start out with when you when the software uh when you when you start a new drawing all right so if we should just click on the wall we can see that over here we have the standard uh wall it, it, it there's no this wall doesn't have a name basically and if you look at the width of this wall it is one foot six inches which is crazy all right we're not building a bridge we're just drawing a tiny house so of course with this standard wall we can change the width uh from that to six inches inches we can change the height to 10 feet and so on and so forth change your justification to center and of course we can go ahead and start to draw again if you're using the student version and you need a four inch stud wall we can go ahead and change the width not four feet dude four inch we can go ahead and change the width of that wall all right so i hope that helped and last but not least, least, thank you. Very educational. Can you also do foundation with vent as I'm having problems subtracting in AutoCAD architecture? All right. So this, I've, I've, we have never done, I don't, I've never done a house with a vent in the foundation. And that's because in Jamaica, we don't do vents on the foundation. But I, um, I did look it up and these are mainly used um, when you have wooden floors because you want uh, underneath uh, the floor or what we call in Jamaica the cellar we want underneath there to be uh, ventilated so you have to put in these vents inside of the foundation to allow air to pass through so we don't have moisture building up and that kind of thing because that can be bad for the wooden structure underneath there you can rotten out the board them and then uh, and then you, you, you know you know the disaster we can have math from that so it's important to create vents and so i'm going to show you how to do that right now okay so here we are in the foundation plan or foundation construct of our one bedroom house and what i did was to go ahead and model a vent and also a space just a box to represent uh, the same size of the vent itself um, this is the easiest way i found to do it maybe there's an easier way to do it um, if you know an easier way then definitely share in the comments section below but this is the first thing that came to mind when i thought of how to do this so this box what i'll do is to place this box where i want it or want them to be on the foundation itself so what i'm going to do is to go to 2d and i'm going to go to top view and i'm going to place this box uh, let's say i'm going to put it in two locations one here and i'm going to copy it and i'm going to put another one here i'm going to see if i can center this one as well Move it where the move move from here to right to here. I think that's the center of that wall. All right, then we're gonna go to uh, the side view now. We're gonna set the elevation. If you notice, the elevation is all messed up. So from here, we're gonna set this at uh, let me put this in conceptual. Uh, we're gonna set this one at 
I think I like the elevation of that one. I'm going to leave it. I'm going to move this one up to match with that one. So I'm going to move this up to match with that one. I think it's about six inches from the top. Let me move this down six inches. Yep, looks about right. All right, so all right, let's do it in 2D. So click on that. Add. And we're going to add this box as well as. We're going to hit enter. And we're going to say subtractive. We're going to hit OK. And just like that, the openings are being created in the wall. All right, so before we copy the vent in, what I'm going to do is to put these on the on the def point layer because I don't want these to be printed or I don't even want to see them. So I'm going to put them on def point. Good. And then I'm going to move or rather copy the vent in. I'm copying it from this corner into the back corner of those areas. So now we can go to conceptual see how that looks um, I can go ahead and turn off the def point and now I can actually see inside through the vents um, let's try hidden perspective all right so you can give it a shot see see if it works for you all right. Okay, so I'm going to stop the questions right there. There are many more questions that I could have answered, but of course the video would be too long. So I would encourage you for every video that you watch, just read the comments. And if you don't see an answer for your question, just drop your question in the comments and we can have a discussion on that. All right. So that's where I'm going to end this uh, video today. This is my first Q&A. Feels strange, but... I hope you like it. If I get some good likes on this video, I'll definitely keep doing some more Q&As and Q&As. All right, so thank you for watching. I hope that you enjoyed the video. Uh, please remember to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already and hit the bell notification. And then guess what? Hit the like button and also comment. All right, guys. So thank you very much and big up yourself again. Take care.